do 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 Okay. Hey, y'all. Um, okay, so I'm not one to like being in the dark. Wait, let me, before I start this. I like my Boom Cat hoodie. Courtesy of Lorianne Gibson. Get that. I'll be right back. They're all part of the list. Yeah. Okay. I'm back. Okay, so I'm not one for being in the dark on issues or things of that nature because I know I like to be in the loop of things. So there was, a, um, I think it started like two, three days ago, this Coney, the Cooney or Canoe, Kano, whatever. It was a trending topic on Twitter, and it says stop canoe. So I'm like, what is this about? So I'm like clicking on it, and it's just like, all it said was stop Kano or Coney. I think K-O-N-Y is Coney. It just says stop Coney. That's all it says. So I'm like, okay, A, who the fuck is Coney? And B, why are we stopping him? So today, or uh, the day yesterday, I saw a picture. And it's a, some man from Africa. That's all I knew. Was he's a man from Africa. So today, while I was in that boring ass science class, I took the time to actually sit and watch the Stop Coney video on YouTube. The 30 minute one? Yeah. Well, I just finished watching it. I had to watch it on the way home. It's 30 minutes. But it's worth 30 minutes. So here's the rundown of the whole Coney issue. Apparently, this man named Toby Coney, not Toby Coney, is it John Coney? I'm sorry. I don't know why I think Toby Coney, probably because it rhymed, Toby Coney, whatever. He has, for the past 26 years, been enslaving little Ugandan, Ugandan children, like little boys and little girls, and essentially exploiting them. He makes the boys into like these crazy killer soldiers. And he turns the girls into like prostitutes basically. And I don't know what he's like, if he gets a kick out of this or is he like, is this some type of mission he's on? I don't know. All I know is that he got like a shitload of little African kids doing these crazy crimes, killing folk and prostituting and crazy shit like that. So. The man that was uh, that made the video, um, I forget his name. It was a nice guy. He was a nice guy. He was very nice. But um, there's a big campaign going on about this whole stop Coney. I said it right. Stop Coney thing. So they got celebrities into it. Basically, what the whole thing of it is, because no one knew. Like clearly, I had no idea who Coney what Coney was at the time so nobody knew about this until recently when the guy who did the video went to Africa and met a little boy named Jacob and he told him you know what was going on and that his brother the little boy named Jacob is a part of the little the Coney tribe or whatever they're called and he told him like look this is he wants to escape but he can't because if he tries then Coney's gonna kill him. Can I just call him John? No, you have to say Coney. I'm gonna try to say Coney as much in this video as possible because they want me to spread the word. So, if the little boy tries to escape, Coney's gonna kill him or have him killed because apparently he has people working under him. So, yeah, Coney's gonna kill him. And his brother, Jacob's brother, tried to escape and his brother was killed, unfortunately. So sadly. They said they cut his throat or something like that. It's just, just crazy. So, my whole central issue about this is, what the hell kind of fucked up mentality do you have where you think it's okay to take these children from their homes? He basically abducts them. Like, what, over here in America, this nigga will be locked up for like five different things. Child abduction, prostitution, soliciting prostitution, murder, conspiracy to commit a murder littering all that he would be go he would be going down here in America but since it's over in Africa and apparently 
African rules are way different than American rules, they can't really stop him because he got numbers. Like, he got numbers. Not to mention, can't nobody find his ass. He's somewhere in the jungle. That's what the video said. I didn't make that up. So, the whole point of this entire campaign is to make this man famous, quote unquote, because the the U.S. people here over here, our judicial government system, whatever the fuck it's called, they weren't going to do anything at first until they made this big rally, like a shitload of people went to Washington and said, um, you going to do what we say, you going to stop Coney and the, his fuckery, or we're not going to pay our taxes, or they said something. But they got their attention, and they sent out the National Guards and the Army and the, the swimmers and everybody to go over there and, you know, find this man and just, like, cut this whole shenanigans out. Because it's fuckery. And, like, the video shows, like, pictures of, like, hundreds of, like, kids, like, laid out in, like, the size of this damn bathroom. And this bathroom isn't big. Like, just laid out on the floor, and it's just, like, really fucked up, even... Like, for me to say something's fucked up, it, it had to be fucked up. So, like I said, the point of the campaign is to make Coney name a household name so we all get the word out. I seen Rihanna tweet something about it a few days ago, or was it yesterday or today, this morning, sometime like that. Um, they have a list of, like, artists and celebrities who they want to support this because... Yes, the little people count, but when you get the bigger people to start talking about, like politicians and celebrities and stuff like that, then it really starts getting serious. And what we want is to make this like a national thing with like posters and flyers and bracelets and headbands and t-shirts and shit and everything. And I'm all for a rebellious ass cause. That's a good cause. Not like just randomly going, oh, I'm going to be a rebel. Let me go shoot up somebody. No, not, I'm not for that. But to rebel against like something for a good cause like this, I'm down for it. So I'm all in for the Stop Coney. Coney. Whatever. I'm all in. I'm going to go purchase my little box. And I'm going to get my box. And I'm going to on April, I think they said April 12th. At like when the sun go down, everybody hit the fucking streets and start plastering signs and shit. I cannot wait. I'm gonna get me a Coney crew here in Cleveland or Akron or wherever I'm at. We going out that night and we plastering shit. It's gonna be so fun. That that's probably why I'm so excited about it because I get to go out. It's basically you're not really breaking the law. I mean, I can go put up a poster on the street sign if I want to. Now when I start breaking into the shit, then that's when we get into breaking the law. But I say support Stop Coney. I think if you if you have any type of mental stability going on, you wouldn't want this going down either. Because picture it being your child being abducted and you like, oh my God, where the fuck is my child at? And you find out he is some camp learning how to massacre somebody's face or your daughter is out being somebody's sex whore. You wouldn't want the shit going down either. So I'm all for Stop Coney. I'm going to purchase my little packet. And I can't wait to get it because I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start rocking my bracelet and crip walking. I'm gonna wear red, everything. All right. Well, I got red on, on. So that's um that's the stop Coney thing. That's what's going on. Um, I'll put the website and stuff under there. I think it's stopconey2012.com. But we only got apparently this only supposed to. We want this man found, locked up, and trialed and all that by the end of 2012, December 31st. So, excuse me, I'm hungry as hell. So, get your little packets as soon as possible. Like I said, April, I think it was 21st or 12th, one of those. We going out, we hitting the streets. If you in Cleveland, contact me here on YouTube or Twitter or Facebook. Because I'm going out and I'm plastering shit, okay? I'm going to give me some spray paint. I'm doing it. Well, that's illegal. It's for a good cause, so I'll do it. So, um, like I said, if you're in the Cleveland area, Cleveland, Ohio, Akron area, if you coming up to Cleveland, I plan on going downtown. That's where I'm going. And whoosh, everywhere. So, that's it. That's Stop Coney. Stop Coney. Coney, you going down, brother. Especially with the, 
if the fame monster coming after you, you're going down, Coney. You're going down. And I got the help of Rihanna. Mm. Now. All right, y'all. That's it. Make sure y'all log on to StopConey2012.com and get y'all packets, too. I'm going now. Peace.